Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the keeper today. <laughs> I don't know what kind of intro that was. But welcome to the Mega Max V2. Already, there's some disturbing noises echoing throughout the halls and corners of the Mega Max. Just a little bit of fighting, though. No snickering. There might be a few rumors. That's right. Derek proposed. We all heard it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right. <laughs> we should probably actually play the game right here. My room has been cleaned up by myself. Happens every now and again. <laughs> so it's, it's got this fresh feel. To be honest, it doesn't happen every now and again. It happens weekly. You're a messy parrot. Why are you so messy? This is the main issue of having a parrot living in your room. So, what do we need to do? Well, we're getting very close to finishing the Mega Max. In fact, we have pretty much done all the construction that we need to do. Now what we need to do is pretty much fill it up to as max as capacity as it can be. And then see if we can have it run with that. Probably not. The danger levels are accruing. And I don't know if we're going to have enough room in the canteen. That's a good point. Are we going to have enough room? I don't know. All I know is that we're pretty much going to be filling up to 100 people per day. So the next lot that we have coming in, also going to be another 100. Should it be another 100? Or maybe half of that? Is there still people waiting... To be put into cells. No, so we should be good. Well, you know what we haven't done yet. No, I've just remembered. We we need to expand the gang area a little bit more because it is still rather compact in there. Yeah, there's just not enough space. There's going to be a lot more gang members turning up. And I'm actually starting to think that maybe even their eating area probably could be expanded onto this side a little bit. Probably just these benches. Now, I'm just looking at it right now and it does seem a little bit lackluster. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. If we want to probably just do some cloning, I think that would be fine. Oh uh, yeah, let's go to the cloning tool right here. Yeah, we're pretty much just going to be taking from this line. Actually, before we do that, let's do a little bit more planning. So this is from top to bottom. 62 by 8. So from here... Uh, yes, pretty much that is what we're doing. That was 8, right? Yep, that was 8. From that bottom section, so that's pretty much that bit done. We'll cut those pits up, because that's going to be the entrance way. And pretty much the same thing on the other side, eight down. And it pretty much sort of con connects into this area, so we need to keep that in mind. Got a, quite a walk from this section over to the middle of the canteen area. I'm trying to think still what this should be. I want it to be a main, e well, a main area, or a main building. I don't want it to be cell blocks. It needs to be something else. You know what? It could even be the canteen. Uh, yeah, now that I think about it, it could be another canteen. We could remove this because we're going to have a lot more prisoners coming in here. And I'm sort of worried that this isn't going to fill the capacity needs that we require. It probably will. In fact, it probably definitely will. The only reason I say that, though, is because... Just move my microphone a little bit there. Is because the they're probably going to be coming in and taking a long time to get their food. So some of them that got their food first have probably already finished it and have left their tables, leaving a space available for someone else. Is what I'm assuming will end up happening. But I kind of like the idea of turning this into a gang area eating hall. Because it's kind of, you know, it might be a bit compact, which is the only thing that I won't like about it. But it would be a little bit safer, and it keeps the gang members a little bit more centralized, which I like the idea of. What we could even do to make it a bit larger, and I might end up doing this, is getting rid of these middle cell blocks and just expanding it so it's one very large canteen. You know what? That's a good idea. I think we should definitely do that. Because we're doing that, however, we're going to be getting rid of a lot more cells. I'm sort of thinking, do we want to expand this anymore? Maybe? It's probably a good idea that we do. The main issue we've got is transporting food over to this canteen, which it's it's a little bit of a distance. We can easily get it done, though. It's just a little bit of a, a walk around, I suppose. If we plan for this in the future, doing something like that. So that's the sort of next expansion point that we can take. The reason I want to sort of expand this even more is mostly because it would some sort of look kind of cool. It would look better, and it would look this area, it would make this area look a lot less spaceless. Spaceless, there we are. That's what it is, yeah, spaceless. Because at the moment, it's just sort of nothing. We're not, nothing's there. We're not doing anything with that space. And also, I think we might still need to make a workshop. No, I don't think I was going to do that in the end. I'm kind of happy with what we have here in the workshop. I don't want another one. 
Yeah, I think we're fine there. I'd like that to be sort of remained as... Remi I'd like this to remain as a forestry section. So we'll keep that the way it is. We should be able to get this done fairly quickly. If we get the concrete constructed... I'm going to get both of these done, I think. That's a good idea. So if we do something like this... And then we do the same thing on the bottom section right here. And the main issue we have is this bit, actually. We need to get rid of this so section here as well. There we go. Shouldn't build there anyway. Looks like there's been a death. Yeah, a little bit of a gang fight going on right now. It means we could probably put some armed guards in here as well at the same time. If we're going to make this into the canteen, we may as well get this done at the same time. If we just go ahead and no longer have these set as cells, and this one here as well, then what we can do is pretty much wall the entire area off and demolish the wall area here. Does that mean we want to have some doorways? No, I think I like the idea of it being a centralized system. Or maybe a doorway here and a doorway here, just so that both sides don't collide into themselves. I think that might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think that would work out a little bit more. So we're probably going to end up doing that. We're still going to have the main walkway here. Um, so if we go ahead and bulldoze. We don't want to bulldoze. We want to remove... De demolish walls is what we wanted to do. So if we get rid of all the walls here. And do the same thing on this section. There we are. We can keep these walls. We're pretty much just going to replace the doorways. So if we go ahead and remove or dismantle objects. Just going to dismantle because we're going to use all this stuff later on anyway. Is it dismantling the doors? It is good. Probably run in the background here. There's still a lot of danger going on in the prison. That's fine. You don't have to worry about that. I'm getting rid of the lights here, which I probably shouldn't be, but oh well. Also, these doors open. They should open automatically, really. We will also want to demolish this wall here and this one. And also no longer have this set as a cell block. This one here as well. And the same thing with the bottom section. Right there and right here. And we'll demolish this wall. The main issue we have with demolishing the walls here is that they might end up building... Well, they, they might end up escaping, which could happen. But to be honest, the last escape attempt that, attempt that was ever made was pretty much foiled by their own selves. Well, their own um, ambition, I suppose. They thought they were out of it. They they jumped out of the tunnel a bit too early. When the digging became a bit too tough for them. And unfortunately for them, they uh, pretty much met our batons as soon as they, they got out. So you were killed. You were just a gang member, okay. How is the situation right now? Search recently. Two prisoners are rioting, really? Okay. What about over here? What's going on here? Okay, the legendary prisoners are still pretty much doing their thing. How are we doing on the sniper towers? Yep, everyone's all pretty much doing what they should be. Still think maybe I should have had this open out a little bit more just so that it goes directly outside than having these corridors. It's still sort of protected by a sniper team or a sniper tower, not a team. Might want to get a few more workers while we're doing this. Since we still need to do some hauling, and there's going to be some new prisoners coming in within the next few hours. There we are. Take a drink while I'm at it. Hmm. Are they demolishing those trees? I think they are. Are those, are those axes? Yeah, okay. I don't think that's how you use an axe on a tree. It's more like they're trying to sort of scrape the leaves off first before actually, before actually timbering the tree off. Timbering the tree off? Not, not sure that's the, the way to say it. Before they chop the tree down, essentially. Look at it. It's like giving it a hairdo. There's got to be some people out there that have given trees, like, hairstyles for fun. <laughs> it's got to have been, right? People do that with hedges. Why can't they just do it with trees? Give them a nice sort of trimming. I don't mean that in a sort of, you know, they're just generally trimming the tree. I mean, they're going to give them, like, a human-style haircut. Is what I'm trying to say. What we also want to do is get ourselves some of these big jail doors there and there. And we want to put them into open mode. Did I do that already or is it... I have to wait. I think I have to wait. Okay then. We also want to demolish the walls here. If I can find demolish wall. There we are. There and there. I'm pretty sure I did the same thing on the bottom section here. I have. Fantastic. Make some metal flooring. There we are. 
So this should turn this area into an indoor zone once we have actually mended it. There we go. He got tased right in the face, apparently. There's still a little bit of anguish going on. And also, some prisoners have yet to be fed. To be fed. Yeah, spirituality is a bit of a problem. It's very chilly today. If I left all the windows open, I went out for a bit. I left the windows open there, the room. There we go, yeah, I've left them open. Give me a moment here. I'm a professional. I think I may have popped the microphone. I believe one of them. It's got that chilly, sort of clear sky November breeze. New album, by the way, November Breeze. <laughs> or a new fragrance, if you want. Essence of Mush. <laughs> From the Mush series. Oh, lovely. It's very musky. God, what a... That word is so apt. <laughs> apt. Musk. It just feels like what it is. I know that might sound a little bit silly. <laughs> it just feels like what it is. Yeah, okay, it does sound a bit stupid. I get it. What are we waiting for here? We're still... What, what's happened? <laughs> I've right-clicked it. Have you cancelled it? I think that was right-click to cancel. I'm pretty sure that was. Hold on a second. Just start that again. Although we will cut off the parts that already connect up here because I'm pretty sure that's going to cause some problems. Lock these open. Let's also get some more of the metal flooring done here. And there, uh, we'll turn this into concrete floor. Once it's constructed anyway, I think there's still a few bits here. Ah, there we go. This bottom section has been done now, which is good. What we do want to do still is have a perimeter wall there. Okay, we need to demolish indoor. If we bulldoze that, that should be able to clean up, clean it up a little bit. And also, what we want to do is lock these open. Turn them into metal flooring. Okay, when when you want, I'll just let you get, get on with it. When do these... All right, straight, straight across, so the metal would do this, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this when I could just clone it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. How's the top doing? Still apparently an issue with the top. Is it because I've not set it as the entire area? Yeah, there's something missing with it. We'll, we'll give it time, I suppose. The new prisoners have all arrived. This is going to be a bit of a trek to get them all processed. I don't think we have enough guards. Yeah, we're running out on guard. We're running low on guards still. I got 151. I need to hire. I need to fire one of them. There we go. It's going to be 450, even though it's 555. But that's counting a lot of other things as well. We need more process guards. I like how they're all using these doors to get in and out. Just realize that. I think that's them trying to bypass. I was saying we'll dismantle these. And we will also dismantle the rest. I forgot we were doing this at the same time. There we go. Um, we also want to turn this into concrete floor. Here and here. This is still going to be a doorway to get in. It's just that we're also going to have one pretty much right here and another one right there. Right there, right there. Yeah, we can have a bench here with two tables. This can be a walkway and then another bunch of benches. Yeah, that makes sense. It all makes sense in my eyes. And we also want to put some more walls down. 
this top section done now? Fantastic. Unfortunately, all the cell blocks have been ripped apart. I knew this was going to happen. I'm pretty sure I said to not do that. But there we go. And also, we want to bulldoze this. Did we bulldoze this bit? We did. Nice. Let's turn that into a perimeter wall. Does that mean it's no longer an outside area? I don't know. Should be. Although I've just realized, does that line up? It doesn't completely line up, does it? No, we had it so that it did connect up to this area. So the way that I've done this, I suppose we've not hit a connection like this before, have we? No, we haven't. So the way that it's connected is a bit different, which I don't think is that much of a problem. Kind of is. This does need to go back by one more. We might be able to, we might have to get something like that sorted out. We will see. At the moment, danger levels are still astonishingly high. We've got another bunch of prisoners coming in. Uh, let's go up to another 100. <laughs> is this not the best idea I've ever had? Absolutely. So many prisoners. And yet we're still working on getting the actual construction done. Not to mention, I didn't even process the other prisoners properly. How many of them could be gang members now, I don't know. They're going to be scattered around the place, though. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. We've got a few gang members, apparently. we got you that needs to be changed. There's a few in here as well. There we go. Not to mention the ones that have yet to reveal themselves. They're not going to be appearing on the gang menu. There are so many new gang members, holy hell. Might want to go down on that new gang list. Or on the, the new in induction list, essentially. Induction list. Not really an induction list, but okay. Okay, we've got another one right here. I would have the game run in the background, but I think we're going to have trouble. There we go, there's one right there. I'm going to have trouble selecting them. No more infiltration, please. I have to remember to look up the next batch. That's one right here. Oh, one of them is in solitary, okay. I, t I changed you, I did change you, good. No legendaries, thankfully. I don't, you seem to be the same color, there we go, yeah, nice. Nice. My, f my voice is becoming more robotic by the second. Okay, there's one down here. Still more prisoners to arrive. You know what? Let's, um, let's close for now. <laughs> we need, still need a lot more prisoners to process, apparently. Okay, we got one here. And another one right there. How about information? What do we got? Any new legendary prisoners? Not that we know of. Nope. Okay, then that makes things interesting. Quite a few question marks. Any of you in here of anything in particular? Oh, okay. Volatuff is why. <laughs> like, Volatuff. What's Volatuff? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It just sounds like a crappy superhero. Or super villain. Volley tough. Great. We'll add that one to the archives. Have we not yet selected for this area to be... Yeah, okay, I guess we haven't. We haven't made this area wall construction yet. Oh, we'd have done that by now. Let's have this as lock open for the time being. Same here. Easier to get in and out. And we've still got a few things that we need to demolish, apparently. This is why the demolish object tool is really bad. I think it is, anyway. Is this, is this, apparently. Alright, let's go back to the concrete tiles. Uh, yeah, we've yet to change some of these, I think. It's a work in progress. We'll get there. Danger levels are going down now, though, which is good. I wonder if that means everyone's being well treated. Okay, to an extent. We still have food to deal with. 
Do we have enough cooking stations? We're not using some of the... Oh, no, we're using all of them, yeah. Okay, then. I don't know that. We need more workers. This is a very expensive job. Let's get an extra ten workers. Holy hell. <laughs> Let's open this up. Thank you.